three brothers are about to embark on a journey through a network of tubes into a land of opinion and commentary where fact and fiction merge, a land we call Alpha Quadrant Six. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? That's good. good. That's good. So we are about to review <laughs> the reboot of Twilight Zone with Jordan Peele. Uh, and we, f we saw the first three episodes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty good, but not fantastic. And what, I know you guys maybe, we're on, we're on a spectrum here. Yep, I, I thought it was a meh. Meh? Yeah, I didn't. I it more than a meh. I enjoyed all three episodes. But, you know, the, the real thing for me is, you compare it to the other TV shows that you're watching, like it, well, Black Mirror. Absolutely, it, there's no comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really So that's the like, obvious comparison. Because Black right. Mirror, we were saying like before this show, Black Mirror was like the, the successor of the Twilight Zone, and it was hitting like every episode was out of the park. Yeah, I mean the bad ones were pretty good. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like sex, even when it's bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I um, thought the acting was was weak in the uh, in the the episodes that, that we saw. I thought the writing was weak. You know, it wasn't, the stories to me weren't compelling. That's the real thing that was missing. Mm -hmm. I wasn't caring enough about needing to see the story continue. And that's always death for me. Like, if I'm not interested, another yeah. big key, you know, it's funny, like, you know, how we're all trained to be on our phones all the time. You know, you, yeah, we're, yeah. we're like a very short attention span society now. I just kept wanting to go to my phone. That's a really bad sign. Yeah, that's a bad TV sign. Show. Yeah. So, is. all right. The uh, let's start with the criticism. Okay. So I think so. These are one-hour episodes. They're too long, and, and I think they're too long. I agree. Yeah. Not that a one-hour episode is too long, but there wasn't enough story to sustain a full hour. I think all three of these episodes would have been better as a thirty-minute episode. Yeah, you know, just tighten it up because you even know why. Forty minutes, even whatever thirty. Yeah, just something. Le they were too long because they're maybe because we're, we've consumed so many episodes like this, so many shows, but still. Like the, you pretty much know what's gonna go, where things are headed. Not there are details, sure, yeah. but you know the arc of the episode pretty early on, um, and then you're just waiting for it to play itself out. Right. Whereas they should have just like, as soon as they're setting you up, and you're like, oh, this, then they should be hitting you with new stuff, and it's over, and you're done, and you're like, oh, that was interesting. Right. But like, they drag it out so much that you have too much time to think about it, and and they. There were too much, too much repetition that was not necessary. It becomes a little annoying because yeah. you, know, you don't need them to like make it so there's another fold and another fold. Like you were right. You just there's needed to too kind many of folds, yeah. to just get to the end. You know, like, it, it, you know, like as an example, in, uh, on replay, it was really weird that they went back and visited her brother and then he takes them through like this labyrinthian mm -hmm. like way of trying to find their way to the school without the cop finding them. Like that was just unnecessary. Like we yeah. didn't make any sense. Then they come out of some weird grate in front of the school. Like that was just stupid. I didn't like any of that. <laughs> um, well, it's fine, but it was just to me, I, I agree. It didn't do anything for the story. It didn't do anything for the plot. Um, and the other thing that was wrong with that is, you know, they, they, they showed her videotaping the lottery. Like the first thing that 99% of the people on the planet would do would be to try to take advantage of the <laughs> loophole in reality <laughs> right. and win a few lotteries and make some money. You know what I mean? Like the, you can't just ignore that. You can't Agreed. Say, well, you just throw that out there. Like, yeah, like it's not going to recur to her to go back a day. I mean, she could have gone back to the beginning of that day and she could have bought a lottery ticket for $20 Easily. million. Dollars. Easily. Well, I mean, earlier in the day at least. Yeah. I mean, but there's also the, the threat, the real threat of their, against their lives from this, this yeah. bad cop. Uh, that had to be dealt with, but that's easily dispensed of. Just drive. I would, I would just say, all right, let's go. We're going to become millionaires. Let's drive to a different state, far away from that jerk. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then make, make I know. Mil millions of dollars, and then plan the rest of your life. I mean, all right. So it that, wasn't the point, obviously, of the it episode. It wasn't. It wasn't. But that's something that the lottery and again, though, we, we're, we're, something we're that, hypercritical on every show we yeah. watch. You don't lay that up though, and then ignore it. Exactly. Yeah. At the very least, you have to completely ignore it. But you even know. still, even if they didn't put the lottery thing in there, which just made it more ridiculous, if they didn't put it in there, we would have been talking about why wouldn't you go and rewind that tape and win a lottery? Of course mm. you would. Or don't forget, they had that. She had that recorder for a decade after those events. That house didn't look especially luxurious to me. I mean, that, she clearly would, they, never won the lottery. Right, she, right. She clearly <laughs> never won the lottery. Give me a break. She might I'm have been sorry. afraid. We're, we're all people yeah. here. I mean, this is what this is what people would try to do. Yeah. Maybe in in true Twilight Zone fashion, it would always something would happen. I don't I don't know, but it's just something that I, I'm thinking about. Well, I mean, the, so 
the, let's pivot a little bit to what I think is good about these episodes. So they are continuing in the tradition of there's some kind of moral, you know, like morality play here. Oh, it's the a, Twilight Zone has a moral. Yeah, it's a peek it. into psychology. And, 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 and don't forget though, this this. Twilight Zone came out in the 50s. There weren't, yeah. there weren't many dramatic shows. There were like mm -hmm. mostly comedies back then. This mm -hmm. was like the only real dramatic show that was on. And, this, and also, Twilight Zone was the only, the very first show that, that TV used genre storytelling to, you know, to talk about, you know, to, to talk in metaphor about yeah. these big social things that were going on. The very first show to do that, that's something. And that's yeah. something that they're, that they're kind yeah. of you know, bringing in through in, in this like third reboot, I think. Or yeah, so like they, replay, replay sure. is clearly about Black Lives Matter and like the experience of, you know, this mother and, and son right. who are just trying to get to college yep. and they're being profiled yeah, and harassed. Horrible. And that's what it's about. The terror in the skies, you didn't like the fact that, terror 30,000 feet, that there was no golf, <laughs> there was no uh, creature. Right? creature right? Right? To me, that, all but, right. But that wasn't what it was about. It was about I, but, the, the living in the age of terrorism and how that makes us I all know, freak I out. Know, I know, but it just, there was a few minutes there where I was like, you know, I felt that terror at 30,000 feet, sure, they added 10,000 feet to yeah. the altitude, <laughs> but there's two things you need. even more terrifying. You need, you need a plane and you need a monster on the, yes. on the wing. The it, was a I know. it was a metaphorical monster. I, the I, monster was the guy. Really? Yeah. I get that. But I we, get yeah, that. But I'm just saying. saying there was some mild disappointment because that's what I expect from that movie. Like, it's yeah. like it's almost like when, if they remake the, uh, the, the, chat, the other Chatner one where he, the, yeah. the, that little machine spits out cards with vague answers. Well, okay. Like, without that card, without that machine, it's like, what, why even need Name it terror thirty, mm -hmm. but I get what they did. So they, they I was noticed, mildly disappointed, briefly. That's all. In I'm the saying. diner, in the replay episode, they had the little bobblehead. Yes, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So I, it was, clearly they're just like doing an homage to the old episodes without completely redoing the story. That, that's no, 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 that was completely different. Steve, well, no, the difference it was completely is, different. But I mean, that's. It was, you know, I think, and the terror of thirty thousand people was more. It's similar to the previous right. one. Conceptually, but, it's but a clearly, bad idea. But clearly, they're idea. not going to do a straight up redo of now, the episode. Now, wait, we know that now. But yeah. the point is, you go into the episode. It's named the episode. You recognize yeah. if you're a fan of this show, you recognize it. You think that you're going to think see it was a head fake. It, it, it was like they they should have just had the nerve to not name it that. It's kind of it. it, it eh, didn't bother me. All right, and you well, figure out really on. All right. Two out of three, you know, you're... There's no gremlin yeah. on the wing in this one. This is a different kind of episode. You're outnumbered. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not the a, minority yeah. reporter. You are. Yeah. You are. It's not a huge <laughs> deal, but I, I tell you what I want to see in the future. What? There was a lot of Twilight Zone movies that deal with full-on, like, science fiction, spaceships, and Sure, we know that's happening. They, yeah. do, so we did, saw some previews, yeah. All right, I didn't. They're yeah, better. Some of them that, are coming. At least one episode. That's important. That's at least one so important to me. Now, look, I, I, I will be generous like I am. I was very generous with Star Trek. Yeah. Uh, multiple seasons of Star Trek. The, I'm going to be generous with this show sure. and say, you know, there, it's a new production. Mm -hmm. You know, the first Black Mirror, I didn't like that first episode. I, I, when oh, I, I thought they were all good. Right? No, there was the one where the guy got, um, he was the politician. Oh, and the oh, I thought that was incredible. No, I didn't, didn't like, like that, that episode. That was incredible. But, but bottom You're line wrong. is, I'm, th these are their first episodes that they sure. made. I'm sure. And don't forget, Jordan Peele did not direct or write any of those first three episodes. Yeah. So I'm waiting to see what, His what, he's, what he's, what yeah. he's going to contribute. I'm not going to give my final judgment. Yeah, that's fine. Judgment I'll watch every damn episode. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch, watch it. Thing. I mean, it's but the zone. It's, like, it's the Twilight Zone. It's definitely in the tradition. It's good enough. It's, it's better than right. some other crap I watch on TV. But... Yeah, it, it, they, it's a B right now. It yeah. hasn't gotten up to, it's not yeah. living up to its really its full potential. They need more compelling storyline to last an hour, or they need to just tighten these things up. I yes. think it was a mistake to go, I don't know what, if there was a disconnect somewhere. It's almost like they, some, the people writing the scripts and the people deciding it was going to be an hour were not the same people. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's a, some disconnect well, there. Well, whoever wrote the script knew exactly as, well, how I mean, long. But I mean, you're like, oh, we got it. I mean, you have like a story idea. And then they just say, okay, we've got to stretch this to an hour. Like, really? This is an hour-long show? You know, it almost feels like they didn't, the, the concept was not for an hour-long show. It was for something that should be knocked out in, in 22, 30 minutes. I mean, you were right. All three of the episodes have that, that odd thing in common where you, yeah. you do get to a point where you're like, okay, then. Yes. You know, right? You don't want to. Like, then the comedian, part of the shtick is that he's not a good comedian. Yeah. And you actually get really tired of his bad, you know, comedic routine yeah well at first it takes you a while to even realize once once the uh the, the weird part of the show yeah. kicks in once he's fulfilling like this deal that he made with the devil whoever the yeah, real yeah. character is he is telling he's not even telling jokes he's no. just talking about these people 
in a, in a semi-ironic way. Yeah, I didn't yeah. like that. I didn't like that because he seemed to be he was getting he was getting rewarded. I mean, he felt good about about mm -hmm. his performance. And I'm like, why would he feel good? Because those they're not jokes. There was not one real funny joke I, in the I, entire. Again, I think that's the point. He, he he had to give up some of himself. That's what they wanted. They wanted the personal. They wanted yeah. him to give up. Some said, of, of course himself. it is. But the, yeah. I'm talking about pure job satisfaction. I mean, yeah. like he's just throwing out uh, like his cousin's name, and they start laughing. I would, you, a real comedian would be like, that's not even funny. Why are you laughing? Well, it's, a, all, it's, it's, felt, a, it's a magical effect in the show. I yeah. get it. But it would have been, to me, just, I, I'm thinking they're saying, it would have been much more clever and funny if they made him actually become a good comedian yeah, via yeah, yeah. the magic. And that's, of course, it's a lot harder to write. Well, but, but tell you, hello, these are, that's what the writer's right, jobs right, are. Right. You know, that's what and Jordan Peele's involved. Hello, funny guy. But I tell you, I was thinking about that episode the next day. I was thinking, just, just the idea of how, of how something, somebody can be part of your life and you, and you pull on that one thread and your whole life kind mm -hmm. of opens up and, and, uh, and just that idea. And I was telling, I was, while I was watching it, it was funny, I was like, talk about the president yeah. or something. Yeah. And, uh, and then he did, but then you realize that no, it's gotta be it somebody, personal. it's gotta be really yeah. personal. So none of that They tried to do a stranger on the bus, that didn't work. Right, and then you can't do this, the same personal gotta be fresh jokes meat. again. Yeah. So that, I like those Well, that's why those the, the guy that, the, the person that made the deal with him has to be some type of devil, devil right? You know, that's the implication. Yeah. And I was thinking, what if he told a personal joke about him? Yeah, that's what I, I thought what, the What would happen be. with that? Because you, you got to assume by the end of the show that that episode, that he's done this over and over and over. So mm -hmm. if you get rid of him, the first domino, who knows the all the lives, implodes. what you would what you would change. Yeah. But just interesting to think about that I didn't really feel for those but other they episodes. Need a, they need a 60 minutes to make you think no, about no, it. No, no, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. They would be, the, the shows would be much more entertaining if they were shorter anyway, because you're condensing everything right. and you're making the beats a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. You know, like, again, like Bob brought up a good point. Like, we, I didn't need to hear him continue to tell, like, 30 minutes of horrible jokes. Yeah. It wasn't, not learning anything. You know, there's, there's nothing it, is moving forward. It's a story, the pacing is not good and the it's not efficient yeah. in getting us to where we need to go. We get there way too slow and it's not, they're not engrossing us for the full 60 minutes. I do ultimately like the stories that are being told. I like, you know, the, the social commentary. Production um, value is great. Production value is great. Um, they need to tighten it all up. I'm anticipating more shape. episodes. I, I, I'm hopeful, but I agree. They, it has not lived up to its potential in the first three episodes. Yeah. I hope it eventually does. I yep. hope they, they, they start to bring their A game, because right now they're, it's about a B. I get about a B, about a B. <laughs> uh, I get curious when I see a show like this. I wonder if they're shooting shows at the same time or if they're doing them, you know, shooting them in yeah, order yeah. even though it's different actors and, and different it's directors. It's dropping once a week, but yeah, you're right. Like, they just do it all and then the season's probably done, right? So I don't know. The reason why I say that you is... You know, they're getting feedback. Yeah, because yeah. they're going to have, they're going to give themselves feedback, meaning, you know, Jordan Peele watched those episodes. I'm sure he mm -hmm. knows, he's with it enough to know, hey, you know, these are a little thin. I suspect we're not going to see anything happen until next season, yeah. if assuming there's going to be a if second season. If there's a second season. Yeah. I'd like there to be. I mean, there should. The Twilight Zone is a great venue for storytelling. Oh my God! Yeah, it's a great format. And anthologies are big. Yeah, I mean, it, love, sex, and, and robots. I they mean, they should keep oh, it yeah. going. Popular yeah. anthology, Black Mirror, like we said. There was also a uh, Philip K. Dick, um, um, Electric Dreams, I think, was yeah, another yeah. one. Although that was canceled. Um, so yeah, yeah anthology, that was not bad, anthologies actually, are anthologies are, are hot. Right, yeah. and that's the other thing and about I, anthologies is that any individual episode could be awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, the next episode right. could be fantastic. Right. So it just makes you hopeful for the yeah. next one. And what's yeah. great, you could you could dive in. You could just watch any episode. You don't. There's no series yeah. where you need to be watch in order. You could just jump in and watch any episode right. at any point. All right, Steve, you gave it a B. I give it a C. What do you give it, Bob? Uh, B minus C plus. <laughs> Split okay, the so difference. We're, we're floating all in the same area. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Jordan Peele is doing a fine Rod Serling. Sure. Yeah. yeah I mean, you know, he's fine. No one is Rod Serling. No, but he's, he has to nobody. make it his own. Anyway, but he's which is fine. fine. Yeah, it's good. He's yeah. not really making it his own, though. I mean, you could definitely hear a little bit of Rod in there. It's, like it's it a, is a, this is a reboot. This is like a, as much as you can do a continuation. The intro is the same. It's just yeah. upgraded sure. graphics, yeah. which I like. I actually like. Don't try to do something too crazy with it. Just have yeah, it be it. the Twilight Zone. Yeah. Right, yeah. and they are, they're actually they actually credited Rod Serling, if, yeah. uh, which you typically won't see in these types of scenarios because they they change it enough where they have um, you know they have other people that. He developed it, yeah. uh, but he, they're like created by Rod Serling. Well, this, yeah. this is his. This is his baby for you know, sure. The, the Twilight Zone music is very powerful. You know mm -hmm. that brand. Oh. 
it really does it's make hard me coded. feel. It, I just creeped out by it. Yeah, you know, it has like a creepy essence to it. Yeah, and there's a nostalgia to it now too. It brings you back to your you know childhood watching the original Twilight Zone and how we, those stories were, they were powerful and they were creepy. Yeah. Um, but you know we're experiencing it as we're different people now too. It's not just that the show is different. Yeah. We're, you know, obviously much older and a different part of our lives. So it's not going to get to be the same thing. But I think that uh, it's better to compare it to things like Black Mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and definitely I, I agree. Black Mirror is much better. Black Mirror is an incredible show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the, the the bar has been set high, <laughs> and we're not quite over it yet. But I, there's a there's the potential to get there. There's sure. The I'll, get there. I'll be watching them. Yeah. So we'll be watching. Maybe we'll do a recap when this, the entire season is over and tell you how they did. And you know, it'll be interesting to see how long this lasts. Don't forget about Dust. Dust is, yeah, Dust oh is God. a web-based yeah. yep. um, anthology. Fantastic. Yeah, it, it actually, classic <laughs> really short episodes. Yeah. You, you, that's a good comparison because you have like five, 10, 15 minute episodes where they have one cool idea and they get it done very, very yep. quickly. Yep. And, you know, I, in fact, there's like as much storytelling in those 12 minutes of a typical Dust right. episode yeah, exactly. as, as we were getting in these Twilight Zone episodes. Thinking. Plus, plus that's, the, that's the problem. Right. Plus, with, with Dust and Black Mirror, it's more pure sci-fi than, yeah. than Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, but we are geared for, for sci-fi, so that's one of the reasons why I think we appreciate it. But it's also just damn good Yeah, but there was a paranormal element to all three stories, right? Yeah, true, but not like in your face, like Dust or... Uh, yeah. or and uh, Black Mirror is like all about this, you know, the effect of this incredible new technology Technologies on, on yeah, but that's society. not even paranormal. It's just technology. Right, right. Which is, which is, you know, yeah. we, 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 we love technology yeah. like that. Sci-fi tech. All right. So we'll be following up with this. We will probably, you know, later in the season or wait till the season's over, and what we'll do is we'll talk on a few more episodes. And of course, we're Alpha Quadrant Six. You can go to alphaquadrant6.com to check us out because we have a YouTube channel, we're on Facebook, and of course, we have a Patreon. So, guys, I'll see you at the movies. We'll see you or in front of the, the TV. We'll see <laughs> you on the at couch. the Alpha Quadrant Six <laughs> Zone.